Greetings, my fellow travelers. This would be uh, Sula Mitras, part of the Utopia Expedition bases. And this is the uh, extraction site. Started here because, well, I tend to forget these guys. Um, I do believe there was a previous video. It may or may not have included these guys, but it would have included the a couple prefabs and the basic main building. Having said that, let's go see what has changed. Alright, so uh, this is the original prefabs. And up to where the refiners are, that's the original walkway. I've added this. Added this fellow to go to the extractors. And added this fellow to come here. Uh, right now you don't see them, but there is a hundred venom snack, not snacks, sacks, and this one. Nothing on the other side. Added the uh, refiners, added these guys. This fellow may have been here at the original building. Stairs this way, but this is added because, well, another mushroom. And this one with graviton balls, 100. This I've added just this morning. I have just hired a farmer. And, well, this is going to be his little abode. It's inspired by uh, a base I saw just the other day. Mind you, a split level is something a little different. I've done a couple of these now so far. Uh, one, one floor plan total. The other one, three floor plans by five floor plans. And this one is two by three. But since this was trending to have the grass grow through the floorboard, it's one short wall higher. So it's a split level. There's a gap here. And with the, the wall in place, it blocks the gap. And, well, since this is a farmer, there's an abundance of planters. And since I've just started the storyline for the farmer, um, well, we're just starting to plant plants, starting with gut root. There's no laboratory. These are just going to be sleeping quarters, or in this case, planting quarters. Uh, there'll be one for the scientists, which will probably have various electronics. There'll be one for warrior, the armor, which will have a couple of weapons racks. And, uh, well, there'll be one for the overseer, probably somewhere over there, and one for the mechanic. Now, I do believe I've added a little bit to the main house, a sheltered entrance. Space. Yep. <laughs> I mean, technically speaking, you're not really supposed to just do U-turn here. Both of these are supposed to go that way. Anyway, Topia consoles, nutrient processor. I need to put table somewhere. Washroom with very deep, deep bath, toilet, vanity, medicine cabinet. Yes, the whole crew can watch movies. There's a snack bar. One can enjoy the vista. And 
traveler's quarters. Come on. All right. Chime you can hear in the distance of the cell phone telling me it's 8 o'clock. I was planning on going to do some groceries. Problem is, it's freezing rain outside. Not exactly the sort of weather you want to walk to the grocery store in. God forbid, actually. Pay a fortune for taxi. Anyway, old building. Yep. The interesting that the stories varied a little bit from one guy to the next iteration. Final Utopia, Utopia station. Overseer, farmer, scientist. He's currently in the process of rebooting. Oh yeah, right. Now, this was part of the original setup. This one right here. The other two are added. This one, again, uh, cover from the uh, elements access to the remaining vaults access to uh, depot the depot is for uh, nitrogen N a very small amount of nitrogen um, gosh if i really need more than that i'll just have to buy some or just temporarily install an extra tractor an extra depot but basically, um, the turnaround, the money for the nitrogen is not that much. Uh, there's not a lot of stuff that required nitrogen to build. So 2,000 a day, more than adequate, I feel, for my feeling. For that. More than adequate, I feel, for what I need. Yeah. These are all over the place. And this morning, not this one, but I flew through one. <laughs> Spare the moment type thing. And, uh, yeah. This one turned out to be much closer to the uh, cliff. The, the base is ever so slightly off. It's not parallel to the wall. It's a little bit more obvious when you look at the, the building, the wooden building. Uh, you can see at one end... The cliff is a lot closer to the foundation, whereas at the other end, it's tight, but comfortable to walk through. All right, so copper, I've collected 10,000 this morning. There's already replenished 2,000. Uh, that's annoying. Well, the problem with this game is rendering. You think, right? You just go within 200 views of the base you're on, it shouldn't be an issue. And I, I am starting to sound like a broken record even to my own ears. I've installed these to provide protection from the rain. Well, basically, uh, when I put the vaults down or align with the, the floor, put a bunch of stone panels to allow rapidly to go through here and from that point it sort of built off on its own and again with the game being so horrible when it comes to lighting glass ceiling of course 
no choice. Um, the base is powered by uh, free power, so these are purely cosmetic. But uh, yeah, we should just plop a couple down here as well. Also with them here, might stop taking a shortcut over short range teleporter and actually use a walkway. Because, you know, reasons. And yeah, that's uh, Sula Dimitris, who, if I remember correctly, is a Greek playmate, lovely brunette. Uh, I suspect she's probably in her 40s nowadays, but hopefully still lovely. And yeah, this is, uh, it's almost a paradise world, except for the fact that there's these scalding hot Cloudburst. Very few sentinels. Matter of fact, to date, I can't say that I've seen any prowling around this base, and that is actually fairly unique. So I'm just going to go upload the base, and go kill the phone, and go blow my nose because, hey, I've got a frigging cold. Second one this year, so it's all things considered, it's been a good year. Just that with COVID, I'm a little bit out of practice of having colds because for two years we stayed at home and nobody got sick, which I suspect was the plan all along. Anyway, with that, my fellow travelers, oh, parting words. It seems that my base is smacking a little flight plan of various frigates. And just earlier when I was building the A-frame for the uh, farmer, I got hit right off the top of the little hill it's on. I've seen some go by and basically clip the stone ring, which, well, you'll excuse the fuck out of me, but something the size of a military cruiser flying 50 feet off the deck is, you know, reckless endangerment. It's not like you're being pursued by somebody. Nope, you're just casually flying around. So, reckless very reckless and it goes to show that the things are on a track there there's no like this guy here he's fairly high but there's no there's no thought given to it um, you know what is the purpose of a vessel that size being in atmosphere you know what's the point of having shuttles and haulers if you know they can just fly through the air Uh, it puzzles me sometimes, but uh, when there's an obstacle like this, or when there's a base, you think they just climbed like a hundred feet higher up. No. And it's the same thing with uh, the dialogues. They're, they're always the same. You know, it, it would be very interesting if once in a while, you know, the, uh, the farmer would whisper to you when he's telling you that he thinks the overseer is not a geck. You know, just softly say, I think it's the Atlas. You know, that'd be totally awesome. It would tie in so well with the story. And uh, I really need to go blow my nose, so I wish you farewell. <laughs>